Hi, welcome to CTN Member Highlights. I'm Leslie McVeigh, and my guest today is Amy Pache. Pache. Pachette. Pachette. <laughs> From Learning Works. Hi, Amy. Hi. Now you're the director of the after school program yes. at Learning Works. And how many schools do you have after school programs in? Um, for Learning Works, mm -hmm. we have um, eleven altogether oh. in four different districts. Oh. Um, so we have six schools in Portland two in Biddeford, two in South Portland, and one in Waterboro. Wow, that's a little more than I realized, and I'm on the board at Learning Works, <laughs> so I should know that. Um, but we're here to talk about something special that's happening coming up on the 20th, and that's Lights On After School. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what that is? Sure. Um, Lights On After School is a day, a national day, um, to highlight after school programs and the importance and the need um, and what they do for our communities. Um, so October 20th, we're having a, um, it's called Lights On After School Rally in uh, downtown at the City Hall um, to share with our community um, what after school programs look like here in Portland um, and what they do for kids. So it's from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock? 3.30 um, is when people can start mm -hmm. coming um, and, until about 5. And at 4.15, we'll have a presentation. Oh. So it's going to be open to anyone in the community who wants to learn more about the after-school program. Yes. Yeah. And will some of the kids from the after-school program be doing presentations? Or? Yes. So everybody... Um, uh, Learning Works After School, A Company of Girls, um, The Telling Room, Portland Rec, uh, The Boys and Girls Club, and probably some others I'm forgetting, uh -huh. will all be gathered. Um, some of them will bring students, um, and they'll have tables and kind of share with what they're doing. And then during the presentation, there'll be some student performances. Uh -huh. um, so there's going to be a student from The Telling Room who's going to share his um, part of his novel that he wrote last year, which is incredible. Um, we're going to have some little dancers. Mm -hmm. So Mayo Street Arts and Portland Youth Dance will be there oh, um, to share a hip hop dance that they're learning. Um, we'll have um, a student or a group of students from Reiki, the Learning Works After School program at Reiki, share their um, newly learned yoga moves. Oh. <laughs> um, and and then we'll have a, a group of girls to speak from a company of girls about what after school and what that program means to them. Well, it's, it's, it's such an enriching program to have for these kids. And I was reading some of the statistics here, and it's 15.1 million children go home to an empty home mm -hmm. where there's the nobody nation. there across the nation. That's mind-boggling. And this across the nation they're doing these after school programs mm -hmm. to give children a chance to to thrive and not be alone you know some of those little kids must be scared to go home alone um, talk a little bit about what you know about that and and the how the program has made a difference in some of the children you've worked with right so um, alternatives to not having an after-school program are probably going alone, home alone or to a house um, uh, with an adult, um, but there might not be a lot happening at home. Mm -hmm. um, there might be the TV on or video games. Um, and so our after-school programs and the other uh, Learning Works After School and other programs, um, we are, are providing a, a safe place um, but also a place where students can thrive and learn about new things and practice new skills um, and uh, try to spark some interest in something they may not mm -hmm. have the opportunity Right, to and, do. and the school doesn't have a chance to offer that during the day. They have to, there are so many things they have to get through on, the, on their schedule. Yes. And so to offer some enrichment that otherwise might not have. Yeah. It's wonderful. Before we go, too, I want to talk about something really special. You were recognized nationally. Um, could you tell us a little bit about that for this program? I, I just think it's wonderful. Sure. Um, so I am an after-school ambassador this year, um, and an after-school ambassador is, um, I'm one of 15 people across the country um, who is 
tasked to um, spread the word about after school and um, what it does for the community and families um, and to promote more uh, opportunities to get funding for after school either um, locally or in uh, in the state government or the national government too yeah. um, so I, I'll be talking to all of our um, senators and legislators and um, just getting the word out and and sharing all the of the good things that we do I think it's wonderful and it's it's so important uh, thank you so much for all that you do and and we're very proud of you but being one of 15 across the country and coming from here is 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 uh, gives me chills <laughs> thank and you. thank you thanks